Hey guys, Anthony here. It is Sunday, July 23rd, 2017, and I have not made a video from the bug out van in a while. And so uh, tonight uh, we got home from visiting my parents. It's been super hot here in Charlotte. Uh, heat index over 100, well over 100 degrees. But we got a line of storms in earlier this evening and uh, kind of cooled things down a lot. And so I decided to uh, come out, uh, took the dogs for their final walk, uh, brought them inside and decided to come out and just boil up some water, uh, use some gear, uh, sit out in the van, chill out a little bit and um, do a video. I have a new uh, windscreen uh, here uh, that I picked up recently right here that's so all I'm gonna boil up some water test out some kit and uh, showed you guys this bag here uh, this haversack that I picked up a while ago um, working out great I use it as like an EDC all-around bag to carry uh, some personal items uh, when I'm up and around during the weekend and so uh, that's working out good and so let's get uh, Gonna light up the alcohol uh, stove and uh, just boil up some tea and um, see where that takes us. Hey, one of the cool things I like about this uh, Hidden Woodsman haversack is, um, you know, it's pretty fairly compact, as I showed in a previous video. And one of the things I've been carrying in it is this GSI flask that I have uh, water in right now. I think this. This holds at least 12 ounces, and I like it because it's it's flat, and it do, does give me the ability to carry some water uh, and re, and have it refillable uh, in this, and it carries it pretty flat against the body, and uh, so that's been working out pretty good um, as a little mini canteen in this uh, pack. Um, so let's get uh, the camera set and get our uh, tea made so we're going to use the alcohol stove tonight and uh, we have our Largo uh, 8 ounce bottle filled with denatured alcohol and so that makes it pretty easy to um, pour our alcohol into the stove and just enough here to boil up some water Okay, and we'll set that aside. We'll set the stove in our Outad uh, stove stand. Did a video on this a while back when I was living in uh, Florida. Again, we got our windscreen here. Won't need it too much tonight because uh, the wind is not blowing. Uh, what I'll do though is I will bring this, let's bring it out out of the van and into the uh, rocks over here so you guys uh, can see that better. All right, I think you guys can see that pretty good. We'll get our Vargo windscreen here around the Outad stove stand. Okay, we'll get our alcohol stove in. Incidentally, this is also an Outad alcohol stove, which I paid under $15 for this complete kit. We've got a clean canteen with 40 ounces of water that I carry in my bug out bag. And so, it's the canteen cup. Get some water in there. Okay, set that aside. Cap this off. Light up our alcohol stove. That is lit. Just picked up this uh, Mora companion knife. Again, I did a video on Mora knives a while ago. Uh, can never have too many Mora knives. This one here was under uh, I think it was under 12 bucks. 
can't beat it, guys. All around knife, keep them in the van, pack, kits, everywhere. They're worth their weight in gold. So our stove is cranking up. There you can see that. Get our cup on there. There you go. And we'll get you some close up views of that. And my view from sitting in the van. I don't know if you can see too good in the van right now, but uh, pretty much no major changes in the van. Set up the same way. I did buy the awning for it, uh, which I have in the, in the garage, and that's gonna go right across the top here as soon as I get it uh, ready to install I'll give you guys a look at it garage full of bug out bags and kits but there is the awning right here again it's the ARB awning you can't see too good I don't have the light on in here but uh, there it is I showed it quickly in another video that's the ARB awning, that's the full size one, and uh, that'll be going in the, uh, in the kit. There's my wave, Wavian gas cans, I'm going to get a couple more of those as well. And back over to our cup. Again, this uh, awning is going to give me the ability uh, to expand my camping ability with the van, you know, coming out about nine feet uh, from the van. And I also plan on getting the uh, screened in or the uh, enclosed room with the floor. And so I'll be able to have a footprint outside the van here, all the while being connected to the van and have a living area outside. So going camping, uh, you know, in the uh, spring and fall and even the summer, uh, to some extent, even though there's no AC, I still have a fan and can still set up a really nice living space. And um, just with the van alone, without even using the R-Pod. So looking forward to getting that awning installed, uh, hopefully soon. When I do, you guys will be the first uh, uh, to know. Guys, I just love this alcohol type setup here. Uh, the nice thing about it is it's quiet. You don't hear the hissing of a stove. You could hear yourself talk. It's just really tranquil when you are using alcohol burner. I just really like it. And that's why I carry it as an option in many of my kits. It's just a great way uh, to boil water and get ready for a meal or a drink, a hot drink. Uh, just a wonderful experience in my book. And the way alcohol stoves are priced now, like this Outdad set for under 15 bucks, I mean, there's no excuse not to have a few of these in different kits. Uh, not only for fun, but for you know survival reasons as well and prepping. Um, I this water is ready right now, so let me get the tea bag and get this cup off there. So we'll take the cup off there. I'm 
let that burn out and get our tea bag in there. Nothing fancy here tonight, just a straight Lipton tea. Nothing wrong with it. Been using it all my life. And so that's our drink of choice uh, tonight. Out that stove worked flawlessly as usual. The only thing I did modifications on this stand is I bent the uh, four little prongs in just a bit in order for uh, the cup, canteen cup of the, that size there uh, to sit on it without, you know, falling through. And so that's uh, worked out well. I mean, for 12 bucks, whatever this set was, um, great with the holidays coming up to give these as gifts uh, to people. But uh, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on cooking kits. Uh, to enjoy yourself and to prepare also. One of the things guys that is important uh, nowadays and in the culture and the environment, political environment that we live in is to be ready to perhaps go off the grid for you know a couple days at most uh, if you have to uh, but also think long term and, and think of a uh, some type of political unrest or civil unrest or uh, national disaster, what could happen. You know, some basic things that you and I uh, take for granted uh, every day. Like being able to, you know, cook without turning on your electric stove or gas stove at home. But being able to cook uh, from your vehicle or from your home with preparedness uh, supplies uh, is uh, critical. And me coming out here and you know messing around and making a cup of tea and using some gear, uh, although it may seem trivial or not to some people, it's practice and it's um, making sure I have what I need uh, to sustain myself and my family um, with some very basic needs. Uh, a need like boiling water is life saving. It's life saving being able to boil water because without it, you're done, and I'm done. And so, keep these things in mind when you see videos like mine and others. Uh, they may seem, you know, hey, he's, here he is, uh, you know, using his alcohol stove, boiling up some water, and here you are, uh, haven't made a move yet to uh, secure yourself some of, this, some of these items, and therefore, uh, you may not be ready for uh, something that's coming down the road, which can be just a, you know, a, a, a summer blackout. Uh, it can be a storm coming through, and it can be uh, you helping a neighbor, maybe, uh, that's less fortunate. But in a critical time with an extended outage, you're going to be in a lot of trouble if you don't have some backup. And that's the purpose of my channel, is to get you to uh, think, to feel, to act, um, and to take action for yourself, your family, and those around you uh, that may be part of your group. Um, and I say stay ready, uh, and that's one of the things that uh, is in my mind all the time. Um, am I ready? Do I have enough? Do I have what I need to sustain myself and my family for an extended period? And I may not have enough, but I have some, and it puts me ahead of most people. And so that's why I make these videos, to kind of remind us, uh, moving forward, not to take the everyday things uh, for granted, uh, like the power grid and turning on the water valve in your house and water coming out. Because one day, it might stop. So, thanks for joining me, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for your views. Uh, I do have some more videos uh, that I want to do. However, um, in the process of uh, settling in, I'm going to do another update. We bought a townhome recently, and we're going to be moving, hopefully by before Thanksgiving, uh, into uh, a permanent residence here uh, near the Charlotte area. And uh, so we're looking forward to that. And there's lots going on. But in the meantime, behind the scenes, I am still 
uh, staying ready, <clears throat> staying prepared, and getting used to my new surroundings, my new environment, making new friends, and uh, expanding uh, my horizons here in the Charlotte area. So with that, I wish everyone a great Sunday evening. God bless. Take care. Stay ready. More videos to come. Anthony signing off. That area was really good for us. And of course, New England, New York, uh, New Jersey, that area was real good. So glad to hear you made some contacts. And uh, next year, just plan to come out and work with us. You can get a chance to do it firsthand and see what it's all about. All right, uh, I'll go back up to Izzy. Let's, first, let's check see if there's anyone else might be listening. Anybody that would like to check in uh, to the UCARS Sunday evening rag shoe net, please call K8IP or net control now. Around real quiet, fast. Communications, AM4 guys. AM4 WOW. Izzy, important. are you back? Do you have any final comments? left while I go. KM4QJO. Ricardo, any finals? No, David, that's it for me from here. Um, just um, like to say hi to all the guys. And, um, tonight is a light night, but um, good to hear from you guys anyway. Um, with that, um, KM4QJO. Out. KN4, A-G-J. That's an interesting call sign there. You know, the KNs or the Ns used to be novice licenses many, many moons ago. So uh, you probably have heard that. Probably somebody saying, you got a novice ticket. But, uh